Hey guys, it's Kim, Angel Dream Crafts, and I'm here today to share with you my project for the challenge over on Donna Little's YouTube channel. And I did a haul video recently with some of Donna's laces, and I will put a link to that video right at the very end of this one. So you can check that out if you like. And these are um, the laces that I bought from Donna when she had the $5 grab bags. So... I will show you what I made because the challenge is to use Donna's laces um, so she can see how you're using them. And what I made was a lace book. Let me just move that up slightly if I can. Sorry about that. There we go. So I have made a book and um, I called this one Oat Couture because I am so inspired by all the beautiful dresses that the ladies used to wear back in the day and I particularly love this lady um, if I can get her in shot there we go I love her dress it's all beaded and beautiful and I just found that to be very inspiring so that was kind of my jumping off point for this book so as you can see I have used lots of goodies and um, on the front page I've used this white trim around the pitcher which is from Donna so I've used that and then here underneath this beaded applique is another trim of Donna's right there and on the spine of the book this is Donna's trim here and it doesn't have the ribbon through it I threaded the ribbon through it so it made a really good spine for the book I was really really pleased with that on the back of the book I made this giant flower with all of Donna's laces that um, I got and I added a doily for my stash and this lace here all around the book is from Donna as well just move that up a little bit more there we go so all this lace here is from Donna's uh, $5 grab bags so that is some of what I did there um, the other beaded trims are um, from my stash, and this one's from my stash, and the bridal applique is also from my stash. So that's what I did on the cover. Now on the inside, I had a lot of fun with this book. The first page is actually a dress form, and I made a little dress on it. So what I did for the dress form down here... These are bridal appliques from my stash and I just cut them because they reminded me of the feet of a dress form. They're actually tea dyed as well. So I did that and then I used the other piece of it at the top for the top of the dress form. Um, the pieces on here that I used from Donna is this um, trim here at the bottom, this beautiful embroidered lace right there. And over here on the side, I've used a couple of Donna's trims as well. This little one here, the eyelet is also Donna's as well. And then this is some Battenberg that was also in the grab bags and I've used that as well. <clears throat> and then here I used um, the applique that I got from Donna. I think that was a free gift. And then I, I added some pearls to my dress, and I did put a bit of tulle behind it just to stuff it a little bit. Oops. And uh, I added some other beautiful dangles down here, just to make it look nice and full. And then I added a little wooden hanger and a little scissor charm there, because this is all about the dresses and the making of the dresses, this book. So over here on this page... I have used, um, okay, let me find it. <laughs> the Battenberg lace is right here that is from Donna. And this beautiful trim down the side is also from Donna as well. And this is another gorgeous lady who's got a beautiful hat. And I just love this dress and I love this image. This was an applique, the rose applique that I cut up. And I had a, added a little doily flower and some more appliques and more dangle trims to the bottom. And underneath this dangle trim here 
is another one of Donna's laces. This is the wide lace that I got from the grab bag. So I used that under there. So that's the second page. And then in the middle here, I've used around this image of this pretty lady, I've used the eyelet that I got from Donna. The backing of this flower is from Donna and I just uh, gathered it up and made a flower with it. And then underneath the dangles is more of that long wide lace and I put that all the way across the base. Right across. And then over on this side I made this flower. And these two trims that are around the image are both from Donna, this beautiful little um, one here. I love that one. And then the eyelet as well is from Donna. And I added more trims and beautiful dangles and little clay flowers here dangling off these little hearts from my stash. And yeah. Oh, and there's more of Donna's laces in the middle as well, actually. Underneath this uh, applique, I've used two of Donna's laces. Not sure you'll be, there you go. I used that same one on the spine and then I used this brown cream one here. And then over here, I made a pink page because I wanted to use this beautiful pink lace that I got in the grab bags. So I framed the image with it. And then I used more of the applique and this pretty pink eyelet going down the side here. This is from Donna as well, as is this trim here. That's from Donna and I just gathered it and ran it down there. And then I cut up more of the applique and added it over here. And again, this beautiful pink trim that's around the image is from Donna. And then down here at the bottom, I've got some gathered uh, lace and eyelet that is from Donna's store as well. So that is that page that I did. And then over here, the last page is a pocket page. And I just love this page, it's so pretty. At the top here, I've used a couple of Donna's trims going along the top, and then I stacked up some doilies. Down at the bottom here, I gathered a piece of lace from the grab bags, and then um, I also added this gold and white braided trim as well. You can see it right there. That's from Donna. And then I added some dangles and a vintage doily there. And this is a nice deep pocket to keep things in. And then I edged the pocket in this beautiful white trim, which I used uh, on the cover as well. And then we're to the back where I made the big flower, which is so pretty. I love putting flowers on the back. Makes them nice and puffy. <laughs> So that is my book that I created using Donna's laces and trims from her $5 grab bag. So I hope you like what I created, Donna, and I'm going to put a link to Donna's YouTube down below. And everybody go and check out her challenge that she's doing. It's a lot of fun. So thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.